Hey, what's going on guys? Code Monkey Games here. Starting from this video, we would be working on our evaluation function and the next few videos would be dedicated to initializing some, some sort of a masks intended for the evaluation purposes. And we will start with uh, uh, masks uh, dedicated to uh, evaluating the pawn structure. So there are three types of pawns, well actually there are more, more than three types of pawns, but at least three types of pawns that we need to take care of are the double pawns, so in case if uh, we have, well say, pawn here and pawn here, it's bad, because uh, in the end game you can easily block those pawns and they're not going anywhere, also the backward pawn, pawn is a good target to, uh, for the opponent's attack. Another issue is uh, when we have a pawn, say, here, and uh, there, is, there are no pawns here or here of the same color, th that pawn is known as the isolated pawn. So isolated pawn uh, might be not that bad in the middle game, but in the end game it again like starts being a vulnerability, so it's not a good thing to have that. And the past pawn, so assuming the pawn is here on c4, so if there are no uh, black pawns, uh, either uh, preventing this pawn from moving forwards or here or here that if no black pawns here and here so uh, that no pawns that would potentially capture this pawn uh, then this uh, then in this case it's kind of a good scenario so uh, this pawn has a high way to queen in and that means that it can be easily well, that it, it is the past pawn and it's it's really it's really great basically. So uh, this pawns would be getting a bonus. Well, this isolated pawns would be get would be getting a penalty, and the pawns. So, so well, actually, uh, file mask uh, would be used to to detect the double pawns, and uh, double pawns would get penalty as well. But the very first thing that we need to do is uh, actually to create some functions uh, that would be initializing our masks for all this kind of sort of a type of pose and also uh i want to write a couple of helper functions to to help those functions those initialization functions so without further ado let's actually start writing some code so um, first let's define uh this this the tables themselves so we need uh so first we need file masks and, uh, and, and by the way, yeah, uh, like we have this file masks here, we, 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 will, we will be having the same masks like uh, uh, the rank masks where this would be all ones, like this would be all ones and so on and so on. But, uh, and this would be needed to actually mm, generate this past pawn ones, uh, this past pawns masks. But as far as, uh, well, I should, I probably, I, sh I should have add that as well, probably after the video or even during the video I will do this so well anyway okay so um, this would be the u64 uh, file masks array of up to 64 elements which means that uh, we will be having a mask uh, of a given file for every single square on the board so say this uh, this sort of a mask of a file is not only uh, relevant for the f2 square but also for f1 f3 f4 f5 so for all the for all the squares they all would be having this uh, this like mask and you, you might wonder that this is a little bit of a redundancy to have these duplications but it's easier to implement and that's the way why i'm following this approach so file masks and then we would have our rank masks so rank rank masks would be the same u64 and the rank masks like this okay and then we'll have uh, uh oh sorry we won't be having double pawn masks that 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 uh, those would be uh, determined from the file masks so we will have the isolated masks and past masks so isolated pawn masks and this would be u64 isolated masks like this and also we'll have past pawns past pawn masks 
and this would be U64 past masks. Okay, all this all 64 square is long. So uh, just to give an idea, so this is the square. This is the square. Hope this is self so this is pretty self-explanatory. But just to make it even more clear, I wouldn't. I wanted to find that we're talking about the squares, <sighs> not plies, which which is weird, but. Just, just to give you an idea. So uh, these are the squares, and now I want to create a helper function to set file or rank mask uh, for a given square. Uh, so this would be the U64 because uh, the U64 type because it would be returning the the 64-bit uh, number, the bit board with with a mask for a current given either rank or file. So set uh, set well, let's call this file rank mask file file rank mask and it would be taken to arguments so int file number and integer rank number okay so. Okay, and also I want to define uh, so initialize evaluation evaluation masks the function that will be actually initializing this past and uh, isolated masks. But before that, uh, before that, uh, I just want to define this function and uh, add this to all init function, and then I would be testing this uh, set file and ran mask uh, from this uh, init uh, evaluation masks. Just, just to not scroll down back and forth uh, again and again. So this would be the, this would be the void function. Uh, initialize evaluation masks, and it's not taking any arguments. And now I just want to add this copy and init all. Here, so here I want to initialize evaluation masks. Okay, so let's try to compile around the code to make sure it has no errors. So I can simply say like make debug, and if it compiles, I want to run the BBC binary executable. Okay, forty. Okay, just forgot a semicolon as always. Okay, seems to be working. So another thing uh, I would like to consider, I want to get away from uh, the release mode and get back to the debugging mode. So it would be printing those masks where needed. Okay. Uh, yeah, the position doesn't matter uh, uh, at the moment. So I want to get back to set file and rent masks and here, the very first thing to consider, we need to define uh, actually the mask itself. So, well, file or rank mask. So, u64 mask is equal to zero unsigned long long. And now it's very simple. Well, uh, at the very end, we want to return uh, return the mask and say simply return mask like this okay and also let's actually try to call this copy paste uh, by now I won't be specifying neither file number nor rank number because it's not needed at the moment but I just want to call this function to make sure it's kind of working so uh, okay Okay, so the next thing we need to do our usual loop over the files and the ranks. So I can simply say loop over uh, ranks and simply say int, oh, sorry, for, for int rank equals to zero, rank is less than eight, and rank plus plus rank plus plus and also I want to loop for files 
This could code would have been reused many times, so I just write it once and then I would have been reusing this. So int foul equals to zero foul is less than eight file plus plus. Okay. And let's also initialize initialize the square. Uh, square so integer square would be equal to as always rank multiplied by a plus fall okay and now well let's just simply make this set bit uh, well actually not the set bit itself but uh, mask bitwise or equals with a set bit and uh, oh no I don't I don't need this or hold on, hold on a sec <laughs> okay we'll now see so mask and the square I just don't remember how I did this even though I did this <laughs> only yesterday okay and I actually want to so let's call it like u64 mask equals and print bitboard and print this mask so let's have a look what we got here it should be all uh all once okay perfect and now the idea is uh so here we want actually to set bit on mask but we want to we want to do this conditionally obviously so there would be two cases so if either file or rank a number is not equal to zero so i can simply say if file number and this would be one case okay and also else if rank number and this would be the other case so assuming that we don't specify neither rank nor file at the moment we, sh we shouldn't get uh, we should get an empty uh, an empty mask because we didn't really do anything We're, we didn't do this setup so we would be uh, didn't set any bits here so we want we want to do this conditionally you know let's say if I specify the so first it goes like file right so if I specify the file number well let's give it a file file one uh, Uh, I'm just hold on a sec. I'm just wondering. Oh, probably it as far as the zero would be used as well. So let's say if file number is not equal to minus one, I guess this would be the better idea. And the same here because we would be using the rank of zero as well. So let's let's actually make it like this. So now it shouldn't be print in anything uh, well it should be uh, an empty set okay and if I just uh, specify 0 for uh, false it should be just doing something and now we need a condition so we can simply say if file is equal this file number only in this case we actually want to set up this bit so, so set up this uh, bits right so now we have uh, a file zero being initialized with this uh, with this sort of uh, bits that's it so respectively if here we'll say like file one it would be the b file and so on so b file and respectively like file seven this would be uh, the h file just need to compile and run yeah this, this would be the h file okay so i hope this is quite pretty clear so here we can say on match on file match and exactly the same would be here with the only difference that this would be on rank match so if actually rank is equal to the rank number yeah that's it so now this 
would be still the same because we didn't we did specify the fall not the rank and if we just now here we say minus one but here we say like well let's say zero so he uh, initializes this so let's say it would be one and he initializes the second rank and let's say this would be equal to seven it initializes the seventh rank respectively so this is kind of it basically and in the next video we're going to be making a use of this uh, we're going to be making use of this functions here to actually initialize our uh, arrays that we have defined okay guys so uh, let's stop uh, at this point in this video and in the next one we will actually go for initializing our rank masks uh, sorry file masks isolated masks uh, the past mask well actually rank uh, yeah we'll actually initialize the rank masks as well because yeah this would have been easy in order to get this sort of a uh, past bond structures well the only thing I would like to, to do is actually to grab this um, copy or well probably it would be better just so, so I ju just want to add this one more array here to demonstrate so Let's say let's make this once and let's adjust the rank numbers to themselves so seven six five four one okay and this would be our rank mask for square well let's say this either like a6 b6 c6 well let's say a6 doesn't matter so a6 b6 d6 e6 f6 g6 h6 so this all they all would have the same mask so hope that's clear okay so the very last thing I just want to ship them okay okay guys so this is it from my side and starting from the next video again like we would have been initializing this all these masks and we would be making use of our set file rank mask function that we've created in this video so i hope to see you in the next parts within this bitboard engine nc series until that time and take care